Hey, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Yeah. Will you love me? Period. Yeah. Like you'll you'll always love me as long as I'm a. Dad, I'm gay. Like always have been. I've known since forever. And uh. Somewhere in Des Moines or San Antonio, there's a young gay person who all of a sudden realizes that she or he is gay, knows that if the parents find out, they'll be tossed out of the house. The classmates would taunt the child. I am still hopeful because of a deeper shift that we're seeing. A transformation not only written into our laws, but woven into the fabric of our society. It's progress led not by Washington, but by ordinary citizens. We're propelled not just by politics, but by love and friendship and a sense of mutual regard. We are the ones coming up in the world. And we must continue to push this movement forward and close the gap. We must demand full equality for all. They say that this country is free, and they say that this country is equal, but it is not equal if it's sometimes. Hello, and welcome to Norwich University, the first and oldest private military academy in the nation. We're located here in the central hills of Vermont, and we have a boasting student body population of about 2,200 students, compiles of both Corps of Cadets, traditional civilians, and commuter students. Norwich University has had a long tradition of both military and academic studies. And we've also had a tradition of leading the military college of this nation in both diversity and equality. And we continue that tradition today with being the first military academy to have an LGBTQ here on campus. The reason why this club's important is because um, it builds an environment for everyone to be themselves and be open about themselves. Um, environment where you don't feel like you're being judged uh, for who you are or who you want to be. Um, and it lets you let your guard down and actually socialize um, in a place where you don't have any pressures to try to pretend like you're someone else, uh, which I think is something vital to developing a self-esteem and and just a you know to live to living uh, to living a healthy life it gives people an area where they can truly be themselves on campus I came here actually um, part of my tuition money was a LGBT scholarship from home and I didn't share that with people because I felt like I couldn't I've you know uh, I'm coming 900 miles away from home. I'm, you know, on my own for the very first time. And I was scared that coming to this campus was such a great opportunity, but it was going to be a place where I could express myself. But if I truly shared all of myself, who I was, especially concerning my sexuality, I felt like I'd be isolated, and that's pretty scary. I'm a member of the Norwich University Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Questioning and Allies Club because I can be. Um, the club's name, like you've heard it, it's so long, it covers everybody. You know, it's not just the lesbians, it's not just the gays, it's a place where anybody can come, anyone can join. You don't have to sign up, you just show up. The reason this club is important to me is because it gives me an outlet where I can be with other people that think like I do. They give everybody a chance and they're very understanding and they respect us, which is very hard to find. Uh, I'm the treasurer of the club and it gives me pride and something to work forward to to show everybody who we are.
books, I believe, in and rights and and um, and privileges for everybody, uh, regardless of of lifestyle, regardless of sexual orientation, regardless of race, color, gender, that sort of thing. Uh, it's important to Norwich because um, it's part of our guiding values. It's supposed to be important to us. It's it's definitely has impacted the community. We're one of the fastest growing clubs on campus and it provides a safe zone for all of its members to kind of come and express their opinions on the different things that we talk about, whatever they may be. And the best part is it's like it's a judge-free zone. I feel like these are people that I could depend on if something were to happen to me or that I would, you know, not think twice about going to help. The way that I think it will um, impact the community is in, in the fact that we're here. You know, we're not going anywhere. Um, we sit in a room where everyone can see us and we have an open door policy so anyone can walk in whenever they want and either they can choose to be an active participant or just sit there and listen. Uh, it's improved the community greatly. It has given uh, people really a true education on um, different issues, not only our community here on campus focuses, but issues around the world uh, when it comes to uh, LGBTQ uh, rights and the struggles they go through. Um, and it really, in my opinion, if there's a club on campus that truly improves the campus climate, it's, it's this club. Um, this club will have an impact not only here in this community, but the global community you know, as a whole. By having the, the club, I think it allows those, and I've gotten emails from alums who have said, you know, why were you so worried all those many years ago? Um, I think it just says that we are, not only are we um, respectful of others, uh, we're living that, that true Norwich, that true Norwich mission. The uh, NULGBTQA is important to me because I'm going to be a leader. And I truly believe that everyone's created equally and should be treated equally. That no matter who they love or even when it comes down to race or gender, they have human rights. And that who you love doesn't define who you are. It doesn't determine what type of leader you're going to be, what type of soldier, what type of policeman or firefighter. We should focus on your actions and what type of person you are. Um, and truly willing to step up and not only learn but at the same time educate people so that when they go throughout the world and the people they influence and impact they can truly become, be considered leaders. The Norwich University Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, Questioning and Allies Club is truly a first of its kind on the military campuses. Our organization met for the first time on 20 September the repeal of Don't Ask Don't Tell. We are an organization whose mission is not only to let people know that they are not alone here on campus, but they have equal rights as everyone else. And we are also in set to uphold our university's guiding values and mission, to give our youth an education, to support diverse points of view as a cornerstone of our democracy. As an organization, we meet once a week, and our meetings are open into the are open to the entire student body. We publicize throughout emails, posters, and flyers throughout campus. We work with clubs, organizations, and the senior leadership of our campus. Our biggest ally is the Christian Fellowship. We work to educate everyone on campus about diversity. This university produces leaders that will go throughout the world leaders both in the military and business sector. So as an organization, what we do here on campus, a very small campus in central Vermont, will have a global impact. We truly believe that all people are created equal and should be treated equally. And there is no doubt that as an organization that is less than a semester old, we have done great things, getting recognition in newspapers throughout the nation, and that we have modeled ourselves 
so that military academies around the nation can take our model and truly build upon what we have done here. There is no doubt what we do every day through our organization improves the entire world. You're not alone. You are not alone. You're not alone. You are not alone. Absolutely, you're not alone. You are not alone. <laughs>